Ansible is one of those tools that every network engineer should know how to use by now, especially if you work or plan to work in an environment such as a data center where you have hundreds of switches and other devices, especially Cisco Nexus switches. At some point in time, you might be required to automate some of the tests that you do, especially with AI things nowadays. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to start configuring Cisco Nexus using Ansible. So what is Ansible? First of all, Ansible is an agentless tool, meaning you don't need a software to be installed on the networking devices. Okay, you just configure and it will log into the device via SSH. Okay, so in order to use Ansible, we first have to enable SSH on the device. In this case, our Cisco Nexus. And I'm going to show you how to do that on this switch. But before that, let me just show you the script that I have here. Let me see if I can increase the size of these. Okay, that looks way bigger. Okay, so this is the script that I'll be following. Okay, because I did this before. And so where do we start? So first we have to assign an IP address to our management interface. And if you have configured a Cisco Nexus, uh, probably should already have an account with the username and the password. Okay, so first we're going to assign an IP address to this. So let me bring Nexus switch. Okay, so I'm going to log into first switch and can see that I already have a username account because I had to log in as admin. So first thing I have to do is to assign an IP address to the management interface. And the interface, it's uh, MGMT zero. And I'm going to assign the IP address 4328 slash 24. Let's make sure that it's enabled the interface and just want to validate that it's reachable. So this is sitting on a different uh, VRF virtual routing table. So this is a dedicated routing table for management. So that's how you're going to test. Okay, it's reachable and it means the IP address is up. So I just want to check whether it's able to reach other devices on this network and it is. Okay, that's great. Okay, so I have assigned the IP address. The next step is to enable uh, SSH on this device. And we do that by using the command feature SSH. That's it. That's all we need. Okay. So SSH is enabled and we can test this from the terminal. And let me bring this here. So SSH to 192.43.28. Okay. User verification password and we are inside nexus one okay so this is done we have access to our uh, switch so now let's go to my next step and this will be to install configuring ansible but before installing ansible there are a couple of things that we have to install first so we're going to install this uh library i'm just going to copy all of these okay okay and uh, let me Type my password. Okay, it's already installed. So next we're going to install this to use virtual environments. Okay, already installed as well. And we're going to create a virtual environment with the name Espo. So it is considered to be a best practice to uh, use virtual environments so that if you break something, it will just affect that virtual environment. It won't affect your host, your machine as a whole. Okay. So next step is to enable this virtual environment. Okay. So you can see that it's enabled by looking here, Ansible in parentheses. Okay. So next we're going to install Ansible inside this virtual environment. Okay. This might take some time. It's downloading uh, a lot of packages there. This will take only a minute. Okay, done. So now we can test whether Ansible is running. Okay. Okay, let's see in the inventory. Okay, and we want to see this output here. Ping pong. Okay, successful. Okay, that's great. 
So next we're going to create a directory where we're going to uh, add all the scripts, all the files that we need to run Ansible locally. So I'm just going to copy this. Okay, and go inside this directory. So okay, let me clear the screen. So next thing we have to do is to create this Ansible file. So this is going to overwrite the uh, global configurations or global settings of Ansible. Okay, so I'm just going to create this and copy all of these. Okay, so just make sure we have host files, host checking, host I, okay. Now I'm going to save this, done. Just double check that the file was created. Yes, it was. So now I'm going to create the uh, host files. So this is where we're going to add details about our switches. I'm just going to copy all of these. Now I'm going to share this file in the, in the video description as well. I'm going to copy this. Actually, I have to create first. Yep. Nano hosts YAML. Let me just copy from here. Switches and paste. Okay, so these are the two switches. I didn't show you how to configure uh, the second switch, but it's the same procedure as I showed you on switch one. So I have to reference uh, the these two switches, switch one, and then what is their IP address. So switch one is 20, 4328, switch two is going to be 4329. And then here I'm going to pass the uh, variables like how am I going to SSH to those devices? So Ansible user, uh, that's going to be the username. Then the password is going to be password. And to use NextOS devices, you have to use this Ansible Connection Network CLI and Ansible Network OS Cisco.NextOS.NextOS. Now, there are two ways to access to log into uh, Nexus switches. One of them is using network CLI or CLI, and the other one is using uh, HTTP API. So I'm just using this one because it seems to be easiest to one to, to use. Okay, I'm just going to save this. Okay, now let's go back, and probably we're going to create our first playbook. So the playbook is essentially the a list with the instructions or the things that we want Ansible to do on that switch. Okay and so probably this is going to be the first one so i'm just going to create to get the switch nexus details okay so i'm going to copy this and just copy all of it okay and paste okay so here i'm going to call all the switches so this is just giving a name then i'm going to uh, based on my inventory file i want to grab all the switches and these are the, the task or the place that I want this uh, Ansible to run. So it's going to get uh, these values from the switches. Okay, so now to run this file, so actually before that, let me split this and change the size here. Okay, 4328, done, and login also 43.29 okay that's great let me change the profile here okay so let's run our first playbook and to do that we're going to run command ansible playbook just run this file okay okay so getting details from twitch nexus Okay, it failed because I don't have these installed. Okay, it looks like that I have to install uh, these libraries as well. And for some reason, I forgot to add this here. Test, now it should be here. Okay, so first I'm going to install Paramico. And then I'm going to install PyLeap SSH. Okay. Okay, open oh, minus M, my better. And I'm going to add it here as well. Okay, so now that should be great. Okay, I'm gonna save this and let's run this again. So, Ansible playbook. 
and get switch nexus details now let's see if it's going to work okay gathering facts and it's going to start with switch one and then it's going to get the facts from switch two okay start with switch two okay and what we have here okay so it was able to collect some information from the switches like uh the host name the file in the boot flash license uh, model platform okay and then we could if we wanted we could work with this uh with this uh, information for some reason okay okay so this first playbook worked just fine this is when we want to collect information from the device so let's take a look at the second uh playbook so for instance what is it uh, probably is to back up the configuration okay so we clear this and backup config.yaml and let me copy all of this and paste now if you want to understand like how why we're using this type of command these arguments I'm going to share this also in the video description. This is essentially the Ansible collections for Cisco, Cisco and XOS. Um, and here you will see uh, all the details about which uh, modules to use, how to use them. So for instance, the one we're trying to use now is going to be uh, an XOS config. So if I search for an XOS config, you can see here more information about this manage Cisco next OS configuration sections okay, so I just wanted to grab some examples so that you can have an idea okay how to use Ansible uh, and then here you have some examples like what to do and how to do it uh, for instance this is to deploy uh, access list on the Cisco Nexus okay replace the config and you can uh, have fun with this okay uh, also okay let's send this save and run this playbook so ansible playbook backup config and before i run that let me show you that um i don't have i only have these files here so how i can do this ls so i have ansible config only i have backup config i have get switch this to your playbooks and i have this inventory file hostess yaml okay so when i run this playbook ansible playbook backup so it's going to get the running config from these switches it's going to create a directory on this director but you're going to save uh, the file from these two switches okay so let's wait a little bit so backing up the configuration okay and we got from two files so now you can see that i have this new director here and inside this directory there are two new files so this is the switch one and switch two configuration file okay so this is how you can for instance um create a cron like a scheduler like to run backup every evening every weekend i don't know but these are just some of the things that you can combine with ansible and other tools or functions on on bash okay so let's see the last example probably this is how to create vlans on uh, cisco nexus using ansible Okay, so let's name this configure vlan.yaml, paste this. Uh, if I want, I could just say, okay, I want to do this on switch one, for example, and not on switch two. Uh, okay, let's save this and let's run this playbook, configure vlan. So we're just going to create vlan uh 10 and vlan 20 on switch one not on switch two okay so it's running the test create vlans so let's take some time and i don't have coffee here okay done so one change what happens if i run this again 
So while it's running, let's confirm this on switch one. And actually I have two VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. What about switch two? I don't have VLAN. So I can play however I want. I can be specific like uh, if I want to run this playbook to which specific device. And you can see that it didn't make any change because uh, Ansible has this thing. I believe it's I, 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 I didn't potence. Hopefully I'm pronouncing this correctly, which essentially means that it will only make the change once. If it's going to validate whether that change that you want to apply already exists, it won't, it won't overwrite. Okay. So that's why you see that it's okay, but it didn't make any change. But now let's change the file to deploy those uh, VLANs on switch two as well. Okay. So here, instead of switch one, I'm just going to say all switches, save this and run again. Now, what do we expect to see? We're going to see that it's not going to make any change on switch one, but it's going to make a change on switch two. So create VLANs. So we already have VLAN 10 and 20 on uh, switch one, and this is already done on switch two. So we should see like yellow on switch two. Yeah. So we can see it's okay for both change on change equals to zero on switch one and change to one on switch two. Okay. So this is it guys. This is one of the examples or uh, that I chose that you can see how to get started with Ansible to configure Cisco Nexus switches. If you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one.